Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And in today's power move, we're gonna talk about layers and we're gonna talk about center marks. Now here I've got a very large radius on the side of this model and I wanna add a center mark to that radius. So I choose the center mark command, I choose here and wow, that center mark is massive. And when I click on that center mark and try to drag the extension lines, you'll see here that I cannot drag these extension lines in. This doesn't happen every single day you're working in SolidWorks, but it's something that has happened often enough that I've come up with a workaround. And in today's Power Move, I'm gonna show you how we can take this center mark and make it a little bit smaller in size so that it's a little more manageable on our drawing. Ow! So the trick that we're gonna use here is we're gonna create a new layer called Hidden. We're gonna draw a circle on that hidden layer and then we're gonna add the center mark to that circle. Then we can hide the hidden layer and the center mark will remain behind. So in order for this to work, I'm gonna start out by deleting the center mark and I'm gonna bring up a toolbar here called Layers. Now, a lot of times we think of layers as a tool that we would use in more of a traditional 2D CAD system like an AutoCAD or a draft site. But layers can also be very useful here in SolidWorks. You can see that I've got a layer for my dimensions and a layer for my center lines, a layer for my title block. I've even got a layer for my special Toby notes that usually show up in Magenta. So I've got all these different layers here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose to create a new layer. Now again, to get to this menu, we turn on the layers toolbar and then we click this button here for layer management or layer properties. Now we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna call this layer hidden. And as far as the remaining properties go, the color of the layer, the line style, they really don't matter. All that matters is that we've created a new explicit layer that we can hide later on in this process. Now that we've got that hidden layer, and usually I dock this down here in the lower left. Now that we've got that hidden layer, what we can do is we can choose to sketch a circle. So we go sketch here, we go to sketch a circle. I'll just kind of sketch this out in space. And you can see here that if I click on that circle and I look over here in the properties of that circle, it's on the hidden layer. And the reason why is because when I began creating that geometry, this was the layer that was active down here in my layers toolbar. So now I'm gonna take that circle, I'm gonna hold control, I'm gonna select this arc here, let go of control and make those concentric. And I could click on that circle uh, and give that circle a diameter. Let's say we give that a diameter of 50 millimeters. Now the circle and the diameter are both on that layer which is named hidden. Now at this point, I'm gonna go over to my layers flyout menu and I'm gonna change that to center lines, a different layer that I've got a layer that I've created in the color green. And now I'm gonna to go to my annotations center mark and I'm gonna click here for that center mark. And now we can go back to our layer properties and we can choose to hide by clicking the little eyeball here, hide the hidden layer. And when we choose okay, we're happy to see that that now smaller center mark is left behind. And now from here, I could turn on my dimensions layer I can go to my smart dimension command and I could create a dimension here that lets everybody know that this radius is supposed to be 75 millimeters and it's originating from this center mark, but that center mark is no longer massive. So if this has come up for you before, let me know down in the comments and I hope that you will be able to now use this workaround to make your center marks a little bit more manageable and maybe you can think of some other places where you could use this hidden layer functionality in a drawing. If you do, let me know that down in the comments as well. And of course, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe and be sure to sign up for a free account at www.twotalltoby.com.